Thank you, Piotr. So I think I have two minutes left for my part. Um, okay, so nice to see you all. Thanks for inviting me and thanks, Mark, for convincing me to present. Um, I'm Paweł Osuch. I'm representing Philip Morris International Service Center Europe, uh, located here in Krakow, not far away. And I have a pleasure to tell a few words about what's happening now in our company and how SSC is prepared to handle that and how much it impacts our SSC and my team being credit to cash team. This you already you, you've already seen. Just to mention that I'm representing, of course, fast-moving consumer goods as the only one tonight. And as you can see, it's maybe not the biggest, but definitely one of the most interesting sectors, at least for me. Okay, question. Just to warm you up, or maybe I should rather say to heat you up, but not to burn you. What's the temperature to heat the tobacco in a special device in order to release a nicotine-containing vapor, but without burning it? So options are, and I think it's the, the up question, yeah. So it's more than 600 degrees, 1,000 degrees, 150, and around 350. I'm sure it's an easy one. Kind of, yes. <laughs> no, it's 60% is right, yes. So, congratulations. Okay, so I'm sure you remember the guy that was a character of our our campaigns, marketing campaigns related to one of, or the biggest brand, which I probably don't have to mention the name or I cannot. So uh, if you remember the cowboy, just simply forget him, because it's, it's the past. Uh, for those that don't remember, don't bother anymore. <laughs> um, or they are too young to remember, probably. So um, now welcome the hummingbird, which is the new logo and the new sign of, of the future of this company and it really is a great change and a great transformation that is then is undergoing there so PMI's vision is really now to offer smokers better choice to offer them a product that will give substantial potential reduction of, of, of harmful harmful uh, substances or toxic substances up to 90-95%. It's, uh, it's something without smoke, but with vapor, as I mentioned before, and without burning, because, uh, because you answered that question that, that demonstrated that the temperature is just 350. Normal temperature for burning cigarette is around 8 to 900 degrees. Mm. It uses sophisticated electronics, to heat the tobacco, and for me the tobacco is the key word here. So it's not a liquid, it's really a, 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 a true tobacco inside. Um, the company already invested more than $3 billion in R&D, and so far, so good, more than 3 million people already fully converted from smoking cigarettes to using, to using RRP, what we call RRP which stands for Reduced Risk Products. Now, um, what does that mean to the company as a whole? So you can imagine, or maybe before, I can just tell you something that I heard even yesterday. Um, you know how many like, major innovations we did in, to, in, in our company in terms of product during the last 70 years? Three. One was implementing filter in 50s. Then it was implementing hard box instead of soft box. And then implementing menthol cigarette. So that, was, that's, that shows how much innovative this industry is. So now, um, 
and now it's changing. So now we're going to have something that is totally new for us, new product category, which means totally different sales strategy, different customer structure and profiles, and of course that somehow impacts what, what is close to my heart, which is credit and, and, and collection, and cash application, of course. Um, now, challenges, which I prefer to call what makes our work more interesting. As you can imagine, I mean, no, no rocket science. Different customers mean different credit risk. Uh, we have to um, assess them like from the scratch. Of course, the, the, the sales volumes are starting, so we have no historical trends. We, we, we don't have anything to refer to. So th uh, these are, these are, let's say, we feel like a startup, in a, in a sense. Um, of course, we are seeking for automated solutions for uh, for uh, for uh, robotics. So those initiatives are taking place in SSC as well here in Krakow. Because what we need to automate definitely is the the calculation of the credit limit, the update in SAP the usage of the credit limit, the exposure uh, monitoring, and of course, all the accounting side, so all the, all the postings that happen afterwards. Um, yeah, in one sentence, finance must be really up to speed with business, and really here it even takes or has a new meaning for us. So on one hand, we have this transformation, and now just to just to few words about the SSC uh, in Krakow. Um, it's quite big, as you can see. It's more than 1,600 people already, and more than 900 uh, in finance already here in Krakow. Mm, we speak 26 languages, not myself, but <laughs> those 600 people. Then uh, 40 countries. I mean, we come from 40 countries all, all over the place. Um, and just some examples, really, of more sophisticated, or let's say, of course, we are mature. We were established in 2005, so of course, it's time to do something something more than, than just, just the basic uh, transactional. So we do controlling, we do... We do treasury with all kinds of, of treasury. Even even two, two years ago, we started front office activities, so really trading activities in our service center. We do tax and, and transfer pricing. Recently, we do procurement sourcing. These are just examples, let's say. When it comes to my team, the coverage of the credit control that my team does here is about 40% of top total PMI's revenue. And another part of my team that I'm very proud of is cash, as everyone calls cash application. I had to learn that term because I didn't know it in, before. For me, it's just, you know, uh, it's, we call it collection. But just to be clear, we don't, like, we don't really have collection in, in our shared service center. Like, we don't, we don't contact customers directly. We just deal with the markets, with our peers in our sister companies across the, the globe, but we don't deal with customers directly. So my team is responsible for processing of transactions and reconciliation of balances representing 60% of, of all total PMI cash. Mm. So, as you can see, we have this transformation as a one power, and on, on, on the other side of the table we have SSC, and like by nature they have to meet somehow, because it's not possible that SSC is kind of out of scope for whatever happens now in the in the company. So, uh, our center really brings the value. We have teams of professionals supporting market implementations. So really the guys from the markets are just calling us and asking for advice, asking for, for benchmarking with other, with other uh, as we call, affiliates, meaning our sister companies in, in, in what's happening? Disappearing? 
time's up now. Or it, maybe it's the time of the next one. <laughs> okay. um, so just finishing. Uh, you can see that we are supporting very much the implementations. We play like a role of a central point. We're really benchmarking, comparing markets, comparing conditions, trying to advise the guys in the markets before the implementation, testing system solutions during implementation, and like performing hyperker after the implementation of the product. So accounting flow, everything that that is related. And just to just to show, share with you some real life. Uh, questions that we we tend to receive from market finance directors when they come to visit us or over the phone so and I think it speaks for itself like what's the what's the changing role of SSC here do you think my customer structure is efficient how do we stand in EU region comparing to others how should I cooperate with my customers to improve collection what is the best model to implement RRP in my market so probably we wouldn't be asked these questions a few years ago, but now it's really happening. Thank you very much.